I am with Meredith Chin from Facebook. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. We just had a great panel talking about how musicians can um, get noticed online. And um, so y one of the things that you do at Facebook is, is help musicians to understand how to use Facebook. Um, what are some of the things you would tell them? Yeah, so I, I get a lot of questions from people in, uh, as artists and people at labels and management um, asking how they can kind of grow their fan base on Facebook. Um, so the most important thing I would probably tell people is to create really engaging, authentic content on their page, whether right. that's flip cam videos or whether that's um, mobile uploads or just status updates asking questions. What did you think of this song or what do you think of my album cover or things like that. Um, so as long as the content is very personal, yeah. people really engage with it. And what are some of the tools that Facebook provides to make it easy for people to do that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. So the, the main thing is that every artist should have a, a Facebook page. Um, and then once they have a Facebook presence, um, they should be building it out using our music player, using um, other applications built by third parties, um, and then just using Facebook mobile or um, or just the normal updates such as status or photos or videos or whatever it is um, within the normal composer for the pages. So one of the things that I'm always curious about is that um, an artist can have a personal Facebook page mm -hmm. and then they can have a page either if they're a, if they're a solo artist for them as the artist or, or for their band. Um, what's the right kind of interplay between say their f personal Facebook page and the, the, the one for them as an artist? Mm -hmm. So your personal profile should be just for you and your friends, for people who you actually know in real life. Um, your Facebook page should be used for fans and other people who like your music, but um, you don't know on a personal level. Um, so um, if you have a profile, which you do in order to um, be able to manage your page, um, you should set your privacy settings so that it's more personal, so that only friends can find you, um, because at some point you're going to cap out at 5,000 friends anyway, um, and then therefore you won't be able to add any more people. So if you are someone who has a lot of people trying to connect with you, um, an artist that wants to gain more than 5,000 fans, um, then you should direct people to your page. So by setting your privacy settings such that only your friends can find you, um, in the search results your page will come up. I see. So you can say you can essentially tell the search results don't pop up my name, but if somebody knows me, they can they can find me or I can tell them to join. Um, what if you haven't made those settings and um, you get all of these random requests from people that you don't know? Um, should you say politely say to them, please go sign up for my page, or mm -hmm. just change settings, or what's the right thing mm -hmm. to do? A lot of people like to put in their about me section. Um, you can find my page here. Um, and then just have a link to their Facebook page instead. Um, some people just post status updates that say this isn't, you know, this is my personal profile. Um, but then a lot of people tend to, um, after realizing how many people are trying to friend them, um, go to their privacy settings instead. Of Change it. Um, so tell me about um, the interplay between Facebook and some of the other popular social networking tools, Twitter, for example, or um, YouTube, or um, even the artist's website. Um, how should, how should, what's the sort of a best practice in making sure that you're using all of those effectively? Mm -hmm. I think it depends on what type of artist you are. So if you're someone that has a lot of resources and a lot of time, and you're able to have your own personal website and maintain that, um, then, then you should definitely build one of those, because that way you can create use that as sort of a hub for yourself, but um, if you're someone that's not as tech savvy, savvy and you're not going to be able to build your own website, um, using a Facebook page is just as effective because you can post your tour dates there, you can post videos there, you can post photos there, um, and you can sort of use that as your hub. Um, but in terms of posting content, in terms of um, the frequency of content, um, you should kind of be using all these channels. You should be using the Facebooks and the Twitters and the YouTubes of the world because they're obviously all going to have slightly different um, different content on there and different frequencies. So um, you might not post as frequently on, on Facebook as you would on Twitter. Um, Twitter is more of a constant stream. But then you can po post a lot of video on YouTube and have people embed those videos elsewhere um, in a really seamless way. So, um, so kind of um, experimenting with all those different channels is really important. It se seems to me like your, your advice is valuable to anybody. It doesn't have to be a musician. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, for example, write books. Uh, and, and somebody who is maybe looking for a job, I mean, the advice is still valid to practically anybody, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's actually um, it's part of how I got in, involved in helping artists because um, it's just a whole community of people out there that, that, that don't necessarily go to the marketing or the advertising conferences of the world right. and, um, 
They don't hang exactly. about at San Francisco Music Tech Summit. <laughs> <Right>. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And um, uh, can you name any artists in particular, not, not famous ones, not ones that, that are household names, but a, a couple of off the top of your head that we, wa we might want to take a look at as, um, as somebody who's doing it pretty well? Mm -hmm. um, Joe Purdy is actually doing this pretty well. Um, Javier Dunn is doing this very well. Um, it's just facebook.com slash Javier Dunn. Okay. Um, and he just posts really personal things. He comments on every single wall post. Um, those are just things that are important to him. Um, he posts about his tour dates. He posts music there. Um, he gives a lot of way, uh, gives, posts a lot of free content there as well. Um, so people can check him out before they have to, to like him. So those are some good examples. Okay. Any last thoughts for musicians wanting to use Facebook to get known? I think the most important thing when it comes to using Facebook or pretty much any of these services is to really um, value your value the people that like you, value the value your fans. Um, you know, think of them as the same people that come up to you after a show and tell you how much they like your music. Um, that's how people are communicating these days is online. So um, as long as you show your respect for them, they'll keep coming out to your shows. They'll keep buying your music. They'll keep buying your merchandise. Um, Great. Thanks so much, Meredith. Really appreciate it.